Hi everyone, it's Dorothy Longworth with Campus Recreation. I'm here with another Wednesday workout. Um, today I thought let's just focus on abs. So I'm just gonna show you a few um, exercises for your stomach. Um, just one thing to keep in mind, uh, you can do as many ab exercises as you want. You can spend an hour a day doing it, but um, if you don't have a clean diet and you don't do other forms of exercise like cardio, you uh, it will be much harder to get a flat stomach. So um, let's get to it. So you can start with a basic crunch. I have a mat here. Put your hands behind your head and you're just gonna lift up and down. And when you come up is when you exhale out, up and down. When you do ab exercises, you wanna have space between your neck and your chest and just breathe. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, bring your knees in and just go up and down. Try to get your shoulders off the floor. You can also lift your glutes up as well. So in and out, in and out. You can make it more challenging by lifting your legs up. So crunch up and down, up and down. So there's a lot of variations to the basic crunch. You could put your hands under your glutes, put your head down on the ground and lift your legs up and down, up. Try to get your glutes up high, up and down. You could go up and then kick out. So up, like that. Remember, always keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. You can put your hands back behind your head and we're gonna go into bicycles. So you go from side to side. You can roll up and you can do a twist. So you can go from side to side with your feet on the ground. If you wanna make it harder, you can bring your feet off the ground and twist from side to side like this, or you could just hold it, try to extend your legs or bend your legs, whatever you can do, but this is a little bit harder if you keep your feet off the ground. And lastly, we're gonna go into plank. So you can go into plank with your hands on the ground, or you can go into your forearms. You could hold it here. You could bring a knee in, alternating to each elbow. You can bring a leg up and hold it and switch legs. Or you can come back up again and go into a side plank. Go to the other side. And then when you finish, I would just come onto your knees and sit back into child's pose and stretch. All right, hope everyone's doing good. Stay healthy and I'll see you next week.